I'm Andrea Tanteros, and here with us today, Sandra Smith, host of Kennedy on Fox Business, Kennedy, Democratic strategist and Fox News contributor, Julie Virginsky's back. And I want to talk to you about something a little more serious. You have had a very rough week, and it's been a... One of the fathers of one of the victims who lost her life Thursday night to that, that shooter mm -hmm. in the movie, uh, anybody's children, these parents, these families are responding with grace and, and strength in a very, very tough Well, we thank you for your leadership again, you, and we thank you for being here today. Our thoughts and prayers, of course, are with the people thank of you. Louisiana. Now back to that Iran hearing on Cap. Governor Jindal, to you first on this. Where are we on this fight on terror? I need mean, them over with hearts and minds. Let's hunt them down and kill them. But then secondly, we've got to do the ground in places like Iraq and Syria and Libya and other places or how three things we could be doing right now. In uh, this seems so mathematically improbable. Uh, is the first lady hiding something? The former first lady, former uh, secretary of state. Absolutely. Argument for Republicans, because I think people know the Clintons are shady. She's a shady lady. I think calls himself a socialist. Look, the, I think the reason she's not the, the U.S. is victorious over ISIS or that one of these scandals stick forward. I don't agree with Hillary Clinton's policies. Double standard in politics. You know, I came from Wall Street in the yeah. trading community. Uh, uh, a real man. Too much cleavage when she's yeah, giving the a speech. Yeah, not going to get her to where she needs to go. Believe me, I, 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 you know, are you, should you be oh, free for an hour at L. I, I just, I, 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 I've <laughs> got to. Nor ready, is he? That's right. Mm -hmm. Tan, rest and ready. Somebody's paying attention. Mm -hmm. But I will say just real quickly. We have been <laughs> hamstrung. We are no longer. Isn't that right. New Hampshire's motto? I mean, it, plus the rationale doesn't even make sense. They don't want. Um, to use the word rich because it means all knowing, like uh, omnipotent. I know a ton of stupid rich people. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Men it enjoy. is. It, this drives me insane. What is the problem? Say what you want to say. Nobody should prevent you from saying it. Amendment. If you want to be insulting to somebody, I will defend your right to insult anybody till the day I die because I think that is exactly what. Hey, my life is being insulted on Twitter on a daily basis. <laughs> and, 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 and I respect everybody's right to. Bill's independent thinking. I agree. And Governor, you're absolutely. Get over ourselves. We're, we're the country of rugged self uh, individuals, you know, self determinism. Right. We're the country where you, know, you pull yourself up from the bootstraps. Well, what are we teaching the next generation that if you're. <laughs> so good. <laughs> a little known fact about our one lucky guy, Governor Jindal. He wasn't always called Bobby. He was born Piyush Jindal in Baton Rouge to parents who'd immigrated from India just months earlier. But as a boy, he was a huge fan of the Brady Bunch. In fact, he loved the show so much that at four years old, he decided to rename himself Bobby after the youngest Brady boy. But Governor, <laughs> Bob, or, or, love me, Jindal. Know. Would have been awesome. <laughs> my girls, it was kind of where I was, you know, at my age. I like, where they, I didn't tell them ahead of time, and so they sat me down and said, "Are you going to be great?" No, that, well, that never. No, we never went through that. So no. So we yell at them. Boudreaux, come back with that. You know, your 16-year-old, or you know, when you're right. on a date. Well, I think you just imagine. Yeah. Can you imagine how mocked he's going to be after everybody eats Boudreaux's butt paste? But we'll <laughs> your, name, your real name isn't Kennedy. Which it's my middle name. Governor, complete the sentence. <laughs> Autumn turns to winter, and winter does what? Brady Bunch song. Come on. You're pretty fond uh, of all it Brady Shades. Sounds like a song. Bunch. All right, Hazy Shades are winner. Thank you so much, Governor, yeah. for being here. We Thank enjoyed you. Uh, continue this on Outnumbered Overtime on the web, foxnews.com slash outnumbered. Click that OT tab. As you can see, we're having lots of fun. We're going to continue that. More fun on happening now starts right now.